Okay, so here we have a question that states which of the following best represents the right precordial leads, okay? So again, knowing the leads on the 12 lead ECG is very important, okay? So what we're looking for here is precordial leads and the right ones, okay? So we have to first know which ones are the precordial. So here we have a standard 12 lead ECG minus the rhythm strip, which you often see at the bottom, okay? So remember, on the left side, we have our limb leads, okay and then on the right side here we have our precordial leads okay so we already have our answer it will be on the right side the precordial okay but as you can see a through d all are on the right side so we have to know which ones are right which ones are left which ones are anteroseptal okay so let's kind of look at this so just to review remember we said that our inferior leads represent these ones here two three and abf okay so these are the inferior leads then we have the lateral limb leads okay here's one i'll use a different color for you so here's one okay a lateral limb lead and then here's avl also a lateral you also may hear as a high lateral lead so remember when we look at the limb leads we're looking at the frontal plane so uh, if you imagine we have our heart here sitting in the middle okay imagine these are our chambers now this is just a box diagram if lead one would normally sit here okay you have avl so notice that they're on the left lateral okay left side of the heart this would be the right side okay just to simplify so left lateral that's why this is the sometimes high lateral then you have your inferior leads two three and avf okay on the inferior portion of the heart avr sits here Okay, you may also hear negative AVR, which is simply the inverse of it somewhere there. Okay, so that's the frontal plane, and those are the limb leads. Now, our question is more in the horizontal plane, so we are have to look more horizontally. Okay, so now the horizontal plane, we have the precordial leads, and that's V1 through V6. Okay, here's V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, and V6. Okay, and what we have here, if we kind of imagine them going around the heart, V1 would sit here, V2 v3 v4 v5 and v6 okay so they kind of go around there those are on the precordium those are the leads that sit right on the chest not the limb leads okay so on the precordium and notice that we're going from the right side of the heart over here and we're going over to the left side of the heart okay so when we talk about the right precordial leads we're talking about those more here so v1 and v2 and some will also include v3 okay now if you look here here's v1 and v2 those are our right precordial leads okay so that would be choice a so that's our answer now when we look at v2 to v4 v2 to v4 would be from here all the way to here and those are more sitting on the anterior portion of the heart so this is what we would call the anterior anterior leads are the anterior precordial leads this would be more of the septal leads okay and then v5 to v6 which sit over here are more of the left lateral leads okay so that would be the left lateral leads because they're on the left side of the heart v1 to v5, v6 are certainly just all the precordial leads so that doesn't help so let's just erase some of this so that we can clear it up and just review one last time before we end here okay so you can already see that our answer is uh, v1 to v2 are the right precordial leads and again some will include uh, v3 as well okay now this is really important when you start trying to identify different infarcts that are going on here so here's v1 and v2 our re right precordial leads so we'll put right and then sometimes including v3 you also hear them as the septal leads okay and then when we look at uh, v3 and v4 and sometimes including v2 we call these the anterior leads as they sit over the anterior portion of that left ventricle and then over on the left side here we have our left lateral leads okay so left lateral that give us a good image of that left lateral portion of the heart of that left ventricle okay so these are really important when we're trying to identify what's going on when we're looking at our wave progression or transitional zone we use these precordial leads so really knowing those right precordial leads are really helpful and when you suspect maybe a right-sided um, infarct you may put those right-sided leads on or if you have ST depression maybe in those V1 and V2 you may suspect a posterior infarct and put the posterior leads on V7 through V9 
9, okay? So a little beyond what we were wanting to get through here. So let's just kind of go over this. Which of the following best represents the right precordial leads? And we said that's V1 to V2, okay? Choice A. Well, that's the end of this lecture. I hope you learned something. Please don't forget to like this video and leave a comment below if you like what we're doing. In fact, many of you have asked how you could help us out. Really, the best way you could do is simply subscribe and share this resource with your friends. And you get free access to more than 300 videos. There is also a community of over 270,000 of us like-minded individuals on Facebook. So stop over and join the EKG Guys uh, Facebook community. Many of you have also asked some questions. Leave them below or share them on Facebook, and we can try to answer them with a short video so everyone else can learn. We also have a number of new courses with corresponding videos coming out soon, so stay tuned for those. Last but certainly not least, your feedback is incredibly helpful and your kind words are always an encouragement on those long days. So let us know how we're doing. Thank you again for your support. It is truly appreciated. We are the largest, fastest growing EKG resource in the world.